Sabbaths are a sign between us and him. It's what marks us. It's the mark on our hand, the way we work, the way we rest on the Sabbath, and the mark on our head, the mark between our eyes, that the way we think, the way we dwell upon Jehovah's word on the Sabbath. So these things are a test. What are we doing? Are we obeying them? Are we working? Are we doing our banking in our brains, trying to figure out how to get rich, doing all these get rich quick schemes? Are we uh, mowing the grass? Are we watching the Saturday or Friday night football? What are we doing? Are we obeying Jehovah or not? And it's That's interesting the there in uh, Ezekiel that it's plural, Sabbaths. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, what does that mean? If it's plural, what does it mean? There could be more than just the weekly. There's So it, it, it would be the holy days. Yes. And it would be the sabbatical years. Yes. Okay. And it would also include Hanukkah. <clears throat> no. We just took well, hang a turn. On. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now, you said my right Sabbaths. Way. <laughs> what he said my sabbaths as in his sabbaths not yeah somebody but hanukkah is in the book of esther and it's part of the scriptures right well i i don't think hanukkah is in the book of esther but i mean sorry <laughs> it's, it's, in, it's in the book of Purim. Purim is in the book of Esther. Hanukkah is in the book of Maccabees. <laughs> Hang on, I'm taking notes here. What's in the book of Purim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys don't let me off the hook at all, do you? I have one little slip up. Uh, oh man, one, yeah, no. Right? The, the Purim. So, so we're talking. Are we talking about Hanukkah or Purim? Here? <laughs> Let's wait on Purim for later. <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about the book of Purim here the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. No, I, I'm talking. We're talking about Hanukkah, and we're talking about the test, and we're talking about the book of Maccabees, and Hanukkah is in the book of Maccabees, which is part of the Bible, and therefore we have to keep it. Well, you know that's that's an interesting take. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people follow that that logic as well. Uh, but, you know, I don't think that's what he's referring to when, as Greg said, he says, my Sabbaths. Okay, but, well, we know Hanukkah is not a real Sabbath. It's, it's sort of like, it's like a holiday, but it's not a real Sabbath. We know that. We admit that. <clears throat> but it's also, you know, in John ten twenty two, they're talking there in the New Testament about Yeshua keeping the Hanukkah. Yes. So, we have, you know, the book of Maccabees. We have John ten twenty two. We have this as our proof that we should be keeping Hanukkah, which is coming up in uh, Kislev 25th, uh, which is... Um, so like 10 days from now, right? That's December 7th, which is uh, yeah, so almost kind of two weeks away. Tonight, so yeah. mm -hmm. so that'd be about right. The test here is, do we keep it or not? Do we obey God or not? Yeah, you know that. The interesting thing about that is that. Hang on, hang on. I got to stop you before you go off here. <laughs> I just asked you a really simple question, which deceived you in the way that I asked it. I don't you know. I don't know if the audience caught that, but I asked you a really slippery question to deceive you and to give me the wrong answer. Will you say it again? I forgot what I said. But I thought <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> no, it's, I said um, Hanukkah is in the book of Maccabees, and we've got these tests of keeping the Sabbath, and here's a test. Do we keep it or not? Do we keep God's commandments or not? So I indicated just in the questioning that this was part of God's commandments to be kept. Mm-hmm. Right? I sort of slipped that in under the radar. And I said that Yeshua kept it. Therefore, we should be keeping it, right? Now, carry on, uh, Mitch. You were about to well, say something. Yeah, I was, you know, that's that's what most people say. Yeshua kept it, and that's good enough for me. Uh, and and sadly, that... <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of assumptions in there. That. There's a lot of assumptions, and that that's what I find. You know, we, we've talked about this before, about the what was actually taking place in John 10, 
and it, it I, I have yet to find where from John chapter seven to John ten twenty two that two and a half months goes by uh, from what's taking place in those three chapters. Um, You're right. It, so <laughs> if you if you go to John seven and you start reading John seven, you will see that it's talking about an event that takes place takes place at Sukkot. And it says in John 7, he was at the feast. And John 8, he's at the feast. John 9, he's at the same feast. John 10, he's at the same feast. And John 11, it's right after, the day after, the eighth day of that feast. So, those, what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, those five chapters are all talking about the time when Yeshua was at the Feast of Tabernacles. And it was during that Feast of Tabernacles that he kept the Feast of Dedication. The trouble is our modern understanding of the Feast of Dedication and the proper understanding of the Feast of Dedication that John was talking about is not the same thing. Yeah. Right? Because the Feast of Dedication that Yeshua kept was the feast in which Solomon dedicated the temple on the eighth day of the Feast of Sukkot. And on that day is the day that Jehovah came and dwelt in the temple. Jehovah, the whole majesty of Jehovah, came and dwelt in the temple. His cloud was so great, it drove the priests out of the temple that they could not minister inside it. There is a slaughtering of so many animals outside in preparation for this event. And we've tried to steal that, or not we've tried, Satan has tried to steal that and called it Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication, for a bogus holiday in the middle of the winter at the same time as Christmas. Yeah. Satan has stole it. And he calls it the Feast of Lights. He calls it the Feast of the Water Celebration. At this time, he's stealing it. And people are swallowing it. Mm -hmm. And they believe the lie. <clears throat> so getting back to the question we asked at the beginning. How... Do you show Jehovah that you love him? Yeah, that's that's if, a, Go ahead, Justin. Go ahead. Well, I I was going to say I think it's I think it's inter that's an interesting question because because we're talking about holidays here, right? And and holiday would be, you know, basically holy day or set apart day. And it's interesting that you know, the the more days that we add to the ones that were actually labeled set apart by Jehovah, um, the the more days we add, the less His days become set apart, and 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 so the more things that we celebrate on top of those days, uh, just as I said, it it really kind of waters down the holiness, quote unquote of his days. And so we add festival of lights, we add this, we add that and and all the other and pretty soon we've got this whole calendar full of of holidays and and you can't really tell which ones more set apart. In fact, I heard a quote on Facebook the other day, ask any gentile what holiday do the Jews celebrate and they're going to say Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to mention Passover or Shavuot or or Sukkot or or uh, Yom Kippur. They're they're going to say Hanukkah because because that's that's the one that everybody knows in the world. And what did Jehovah say about adding to His law? Yeah, he said he said don't do it, don't do it. And then what did He say about the test? Because this is the test. This is a test. Will you obey Jehovah or not? Are you going to keep Hanukkah or not? He said, don't keep it. He never commanded you to keep it. He never even thought of it mm -hmm. until the Maccabees created it in 162 BC. King David does not even know what Hanukkah is. When he yeah. comes back, he will not be keeping it. Solomon will not be keeping it. And yet many people in the Messianic movement and the Jewish movement, want to keep Hanukkah because they they just think it's good that we add this to Jehovah's schedule. You know, that just what you said there, Joseph, makes me think about it. Like, are his days not enough to to glorify and worship him that we must add other days in order to 
represent something that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like he's given us the perfect instruction, the perfect way to love him as what we're talking about here. And sadly, we say that's not enough. So we need to bring in another nope. holiday to make another First. day special to represent. And it reminds me of the golden calf is what it reminds me of. <laughs> it is. It is. You know, it's right there in the book of Purim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Joseph, so, you, you mention all the time that the plan of salvation is in his feasts. So then my question would be, what part of that plan does Hanukkah what the, what people so. create Hanukkah is a, it's the day of the consummation. Yeah, they they start the consummation on Hanukkah. Go nine months later, they say he was born on the Feast of Tabernacles. And again, both of them are wrong because he was born on the Feast of Trumpets, and we've proven that over and over on our website. But you know, they create this whole mysterious thing out of nothing. It's a test, and here's the test. I'm going to get you to try and keep a holiday that I never commanded. If you keep it, that tells me you will not obey my laws. But if you don't keep it, that tells me the reason you're not keeping it is because you're going to obey me and not add to my laws. Yeah. The Hanukkah that took place in the Maccabees, if you read Maccabees, it says they lit the candle and that's all it says. It does not talk about it staying lit for eight days. That was a creation of the rabbis 400 years later when they wrote the Mishnah in 200 AD. So the rabbis have created this story just to make this holiday more attractive. Mm -hmm. But nothing happened when they lit the menorah, except that it was lit, and then that was it. So don't fall for lies and false teachings that other people put out there. Stick to the truth. Stick to the Jehovah's Word. Yeah, that's good. Well, uh, we're out of time in the first half, so stay tuned. We will be right back after these messages. Sighted Moon. For articles, videos, and updates, visit sightedmoon.com. Discover the hidden Israelite ancestry of some of the most powerful nations on earth. Watch as scripture unveils the terrifying future of America and Great Britain as revealed through the sabbatical and jubilee years. Discover the identity of Assyria and its... 